Good morning and welcome to Daily Impact. I am Yemi Grisman Aduluju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samonda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria. For our meditation this morning, I'd like to remind my esteemed listener that every deed is a seed. Every deed is a seed. Let's consider two scriptures, uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 26, verse 27, and Ecclesiastes chapter 10 from verse 8 to verse number 10. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 27, the, from the New King James translation, the Bible says, whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it roll back on him. Whoever digs a pit shall fall into it. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, beginning from verse 8, the Bible says, He who digs a pit will fall into it, and whoever breaks through a wall will be beaten by a serpent. He who quarries a stone may be hurt by them, and he who splits wood may be endangered by it. He who splits wood may be endangered by it. Every deed is a seed. Galatians 6 7 says, Whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. What seed are you sowing? Are you in any way digging pits for others? You may be the one to fall into the pit you have dug or that you are digging. Are you trying to roll stones on people? This stone you are rolling may eventually roll back upon you and injure you severely. Be careful what you do. For whatever a man sows, that also shall he reap. If you try to cut others short, you may be cut short also. He that kills with the sword shall by the sword be himself destroyed. It is therefore important for us to be careful the way we live our lives and to be careful what we do to others. For whatever we do to others, it shall be done to us also. And don't forget, when a man sows a seed, whether good or bad, the generations of his children will eat of the fruits of that seed also, whether good or bad. Be careful what you do because of posterity. I read the story of a gold seeker merchant who finds a pool in the desert. One of the troubles of desert travelers is thirst. Many of them die of thirst. Many also die of the heat. There is no shade. And many also get lost and die trying to find a way out. So three major dangers of the desert. Losing direction, heat, and dehydration. So this gold seeker merchant found a pool of water in this desert, an unlikely discovery. And then he satisfied his thirst and replenished his jug for the remainder of the journey. Fill this jug for the remainder of the journey. Now, but before he embarked on the journey, before he started or resumed his journey, he now poisoned the pond so as to stop other merchants. He poisoned the pond and he went on his way. A little later, his camel spilled all his collected water. All that this merchant needed to have done was to just have gone back to the pond where he had collected water uh, some time ago. But unfortunately, he had poisoned the pond. And so he couldn't drink from the pond again because he knew he had poisoned the pond. And so this merchant, uh, gold merchant seeker, died a few days after. What killed him? The pit he dug, he fell into the same pit. And the stone he rolled, rolled back against him. And so he died. His seed was, uh, uh, his deed was a seed. It was a boomerang that returned upon his head. Had he known that his camel may likely spill his water, he wouldn't have poisoned the pond. And so he poisoned the pond to prevent other merchants from gaining access to the water or dying so as to destroy competition. He was a highly competitive man and he didn't want competition. Dear listener, understand that you don't need to blow other people's light out for your own light to shine. And the sky is wide enough for all the birds of the air to fly without colliding. So let us live. I want to charge you to live 
and let us live. Live and let us live. Have your own share of the world and let others have theirs also. Don't ever forget your action. It's like a boomerang. And uh, whatever seed you sow today, you may likely reap it tomorrow. Be careful, therefore, what seed you are sowing. And don't forget, he that digs a pit will fall into that same pit. He that digs a pit will fall into the pit. Whoever rolls a stone, it will have it rolled back upon his own head. He who digs a pit will fall into it. And whoever breaks through a wall will be beaten by a serpent. Be careful what seed you sow. If you don't eat from that seed, if you don't reap from that seed, your children and children's children may reap from that seed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the grace to sow good seeds by our lifestyle, by our attitude, our character, our actions, we receive this grace from you in the name of Jesus. I ask, O oh God, that you will cause us to place a watch upon our lives, upon our words, and to be careful to maintain good works, to plant good seed that will benefit humanity and that will bring a great and a glorious harvest to us and to our family. Help us, dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I invite you to join us this afternoon at our interdenominational prayer convocation, the Moriah Prayer Convocation at the Light Cathedral, Lighthouse International Christian Center. Time is 12 noon till about 1.30 p.m. You may also wish to join us on any of our social media handles on Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center, and our online radio www.lightimpactfm.com Till I come your way again tomorrow morning for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jeremy Grisman Abiloji, wishing you a very wonderful day and the Lord bless you.